today I thought I would take you through some of the basics of copper, and it starts with the type of pipe. Now copper comes in either hard drawn or stiff sticks like this. It can be 10 feet long or 20 feet long, or soft drawn copper in a coil. All right. Okay. Now there's different grades of copper, and you can tell by the outside coloring. I don't know if you can see that, but there's blue right here, mm -hmm. and this is called type L, and that's the heavier gauge, and the red is type M. Now look on this end view. You can see this side wall is thinner. Wait, so this is the same outside dimension, but we've got a different inside dimension? Absolutely. A little less copper on the side wall. Now, in many jurisdictions, this red, the M, is not allowed for potable water because they're concerned about the velocity of the water going through this pipe could erode the thin side wall. What could we use it for? Well, for heating, heating work. Oh, because there's not a lot of velocity right. to that. All right. So this is half inch. This is three quarter inch right here, and there's also one inch, inch and a quarter, inch and a half, and two inch. So these are the lengths, the straight runs, but That's we right. ultimately have to make the connections, the turns, the sooner or later. And such. So some of the basic fittings. This is the heart of any plumbing system. This is a 90 degree elbow, fitting by fitting. The pipe goes into here and goes into here. Right. All right. So that allows you to do all sorts of bends. And look at all the options of all these different That's fittings right. right here. How do you now, keep these things straight? Well, here I'm going to take you through it. Now this is one that's a 90 degree elbow. But I don't know if you can see it, but this is fitting, and this is actually the same size as a pipe. So it allows you to put this mm. inside, so it makes a tight little bend. And this is called a street fitting or a fit fitting. So uh, this would be called a half inch fit elbow. So half inch for the dimension, fit meaning the. It goes inside the fitting. All right. All right. Now, this is the same in three quarter, and this is the fit elbow in three quarter. Now they also make a 45 degree angle, and that's pretty handy for, say we're running along here, we want to jump up and get over another pipe. And so here's a fitting by fitting 45 degree angle, yep. but this is the one that's the street or fit 45, so that fits inside. So now we're talking about being able to make bends or turns and such, and it looks right like here you've got some transitions from one size to another. That's right, if we're going to have two of the same size pieces of pipe coming together, there's a coupling. This is, happens to be a three quarter coupling. Yeah, so you can just okay. join two yep. straight runs like that. Yep. And if we're going to reduce, we would go three quarter by half. Mm -hmm. And they actually also make an adapter that turns at the elbow. So there's three quarter by half All right. coupling. Those are elbows. These are, you call them T's? Well, sooner or later, you're going to need a T. OK, <laughs> so uh, this is a half inch copper T. And one trick about a T is that you want to read the T or identify it according to the run and then the branch. Well, now, what do you mean by identify it? Okay, so this would be called a half inch, half inch by half inch copper T. So we just call it a half inch copper T. But when you have different sizes, we would read this first. So this is a three quarter by three quarter by half. Because these are the same, we would just shorten it to a three quarter by half copper T. So run first and then the branch That's right. second. So if you're sent to the supply house to get this, you could make a mistake and get this, and that doesn't work for you, because this is half by three quarter if you read this backwards. You see the difference? Uh, so I've got to get it actually in the right order. Three quarter by half, not half by three right. quarter. We would send you back and you'd be in trouble. You're going to send me back That's anyway, right. <laughs> no matter what I come back They with. also make a transition where it's three quarter, and then it's three quarter by half by three quarter, so mm -hmm. you can do that smaller branch on the bend. Now all of these connections are going to be solder joints, That's right. whereas these, you start to get into a threaded joint. Well, sooner or later, you need to tie on to something that might have a thread. So they make these fittings. This is a half inch copper by female, and that means that the thread fits inside. So here's a male thread right here on this outdoor faucet, and they'd be piped open or, or Teflon, right. and that goes on here, and you can solder right onto that point. And you call it half inch by female. You don't even identify thread? That's right. Copper by female or copper by male, because that uh, thread's inside. So a lot of different terminology. Right.